Alright guys, and welcome back to more Memories of Celseta. It has been about, uh, I want to say a week since I last recorded and played this game. Now, during the off time I had during the Thanksgiving weekend, I actually sat down and actually grinded, as you can see, the level 15. And you're wondering like, huh, how'd you get to level 15 so quick in under 7 hours? That's nearly impossible. Well, not really. Now, what I did, you remember the troll? If you remember the troll from the last video, where he raffle stomped us? I found out you can actually just level up off of that guy. Like, fairly easily. Like, it, it takes some effort. You gotta make sure you don't get killed, but what you can do is actually, I'm about to show you in a second, but you gotta run to him, fight him, if you're running low on health or whatever what you can do is actually roll all the way back to this monument and get healed and then go over there and fight him again and he'll have his hp remain the same so watch this he's still kind of tough to fight so we gotta watch out and of course because i grinded i did learn like a whole bunch of new skills just to show you guys now he has a l i maxed out a lot of his skills i maxed out a dog's skill almost just about everything but blade rush which is his combination attack and then I have not even worked on Durin that's the next character I'll probably like work on to max out his skills but Adol as you can see he has a really good skill called stun ray and it stuns the enemies and has a high chance of stunning them and it's really good especially after you flash guard it gets that critical damage and then a higher chance of actually stunning them too which is really good so guard is that here we go. This is how this is how I leveled up. Off of this guy. Now there's a way to actually like manipulate this guy into doing things. Uh, you see what I did? I switched to the other guy pretty much to use his uh mystic art and spam uh stun ray with uh Adol. This is what I, uh, this is all you gotta do. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's so good. Alright. Since we're low on, uh running low on health, run back to the mine bit, heal up, and go over there and fight him again. <laughs> it's so easy. This is all I did. Like if you miss time something, it's okay. You can just run back to that damn uh, just run back to the monument and get healed, which is very nice. Now to show off some of my uh, broken skills. Yes, the Sonic Slide is so OP. If you stay close to him, he'll do that. He'll always do that if you stay close to him. This is all you gotta do, dude. I, I got hit from behind. But anyway, this is all you gotta do, really. At least flash guard. And if you can, stun raid. So OP. I'm so OP. It's not even funny. Oh yes! It's over! Uh, this dude got bodied! This troll got so bodied! You see what you gotta do, right? Yeah! It's almost like a guaranteed level up for every level under 10. I was able to level off of that guy really good and he gives you Fierce Beast Claws, which I think sell for a lot. So you can really grind off that guy early in the game if you want. So, after showing that trick, that's all I pretty much did. I was just fighting that guy, flash guarding, getting those critical hits in after flash guarding. And that's all you really got to do. So anyway, we need to progress in this dungeon. I didn't really explore the dungeon all too much. There's a couple of things we missed that I got like off camera. Like a few items that I never got on camera. But all I did was literally beat up on that troll. 
So right now we're exploring the forest even more. I, I never came over here, which is pretty funny. We gotta find out where to go next. Short sword plus three. I have a plus nine short sword. Or a long sword, actually. Leave it to me. Sonic slide. Body in these guys, dude. Like once you get flash guard down, once you get their animations and shit down, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is flash guard, attack, flash guard. I'm gonna need you to stop. Uh, I'm gonna need you to stop your monkey ass. Nope. 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 Better yet, I need to look at the map. We gotta be following these, uh... Yes. We gotta follow these. These memory orbs. Is what I'm assuming we, what we gotta do. Let's explore this side a little bit. Get out of here. Adol don't play games. Adol, I don't play games, Christian. Adol, I don't play games, Christian. That's what we do. That's what we call him. Oh my god. You know what? I don't play games, Christian. Adol, I don't play games, Christian. <laughs> Everybody's dead. And that's how we do it. But it is not Friday night. It is not Friday night, but that's how we do it. Is this a lock chest? Iron breastplate plus two. Wow, I wouldn't have spent all my money on like the other iron breastplates I got. Alright, time to get out of here. I'm, I've been having so much fun just with the combat alone in this game. It's like really fun. I didn't expect this game to be fun and I didn't expect the music to be catchy either. I, I, had, I, I had no expectations of this game. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I had zero expectations. But then again, I did say like if you go in a game with zero expectations, you could be literally surprised. Which is really good. I said that in my uh, Devil May Cry playthrough, I think. Alright, what's over here, I wonder? Get out! Get out of here, you damn monkey! Oh! It was not a flash guard. Oh, yeah! Uh! Uh! Two hitters! A two hitter quitter! Oh, another troll. We ain't gonna fight him though. It's just gonna waste time. I want to actually move on with the story now. I should actually be playing with Durin, since most of the enemies here are kind of have armor and whatnot, and Durin pretty much breaks through. He's the one that deals damage to armor foes. I wouldn't even say armor. Um, maybe. Yeah, I guess you could say armored foes. Did that monkey just move through that? I bet you we can get that. Oh my god. I thought I just got stuck. How did that monkey move through there? No. To be honest, I actually glitched myself through a wall. And the only way I could get out of it was switching to the other character. Luckily, that didn't glitch to the other wall. Look at this. It's mem Where's the memory? It's a memory nearby. Where is it? Let's kick his ass first. Here we go. Gotta touch the light! Sweet. What is this? It's another new memory. So what happened to the princess after that? Oh, it was awful. I'm afraid she met a most untimely end. She got bodied. Ah, have you come back to listen again? Oh, it's you, Adol. Shouldn't you be in bed by now? Where did that princess live? Far away on foreign shores. Foreign short? <laughs> but there isn't anywhere around here with a name like that. I guess the idea of a world outside your familiars is still a bit much for, for a young boy like you. The 
The world outside this village is a vast place filled with wonders. Uh, for example, have you ever heard of the ocean? The ocean? That's right, let me tell you a tale of the ocean and the pirates who roam it. The pirates! The pirates, bro! Gotta watch out for the pirates. Gotta look out for Monkey D. Luffy, son. Knowing Adol, he probably did meet Monkey D. Luffy and Ace. He probably met uh, Jinbei, too. <laughs> he sells set the Romance Dawn. <laughs> Yo, that's actually a One Piece game. You guys don't know about it, I don't think, but it is a damn One Piece game. Romance Dawn. He sells set the Romance Dawn. I, I'm calling it right now. All right, we gotta switch to Doran to open his lock. <laughs> Gold Ignite, nice. Or Ingot, what, however you pronounce it. It's good fusion material, I believe. Or not fusion, but uh, crafting? Not crafting, um, I'm trying to think of the word for it. It's when you, it's not alchemy. I completely forgot the word for it. I can't believe it. Yo, that Taurus is trying to get at us, man. That Taurus, he's got to leave, man. That Taurus is not very friendly. He keep trying to use, uh, takedown. Takedown is deadly, bro. Alright. Now, I left a marker on the map to the next memory we need to get. I'm thinking we got to get, like, a, a number of memories, and there, there will be a cutscene. The game doesn't really hold your hand and tell you where you need to go exactly. Which is actually pretty fun because you get to explore and it, it really doesn't like... Oh my god, it doesn't really hold you back from exploring all too much. I'm guessing we're not supposed to go that way since that troll was like such a high level. He was supposed to literally scare you off from going that way is what I'm thinking. So we should probably go north. I'm trying to think of that name where you have to fuse the items. Let's look at the map. Be -do -do. The Great Forest. Be -do -do. All right, let's keep going up. From from what it looks like, it seems everybody seems to be enjoying this playthrough, and a lot of people have told me they actually picked up the game after watching a few videos, and I'm very glad. Because this game is actually pretty fun. If you have a Vita and you like RPGs, this is... Definitely get this game. It's pretty fun. It's action RPG, not turn-based. So your skills are up to you. I'm still thinking we have to wait until we get a certain character before we can go underwater and start getting these chests. I need to look at the map real quick. doo 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 Waterfall cave. Uh, nah. I'm thinking I'm going the wrong way, to be honest. I have no clue. You can easily get lost here. It's insane how big this place is. I would, if this was on the PS3, dude, this would have been lovely. Alright. I think we're on track. This is where I was before. This is where I, like, grinded to, like, level 6 and then went to go take on that troll. Get that bastard. Hey, doll's faster. Oh, yeah. Show me your moves. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yes. I love the, the skill finishers in this game. They're so awesome. Wow, how is that not a perfect guard? Take this! Alright, so what I should actually be doing is Blade Rush to try to up that skill. Because it's the only skill I haven't really maxed out with Idol. So, Blade Rush for days. It's over! Did you know that Adol is voiced by the same dude that voiced Asbel, Bryce Papin something, I forgot his name, but it's the same dude that voices 
Asbel. I guess he likes naming or he likes voicing characters with the with a starting name with an A. First letter of their name starts with an A. I guess he likes characters that begin whose names begin with the A. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Nope. Dude, did this monkey just hit me? Uh. Get out of here, Scorpion. Flash guard. Uh. Get body. Get wrecked. Snake amulet. Nice. Yo, I'm just going through the forest just wrecking these. Wrecking these cats. Uh, the jawbreaker. The jawbreaker is so crazy. Yes, Flash guarded that shit. Uh, 46 with a punch. You're not even supposed to do that much damage unless you get a critical hit. Especially with Durin. His flowers resist his strikes. Come on, bro. Oh damn it, I tried to perfect guard it. Oh, there's a memory right over here. Come on, bro. Don't run away. Punched him in his ass and he fell over. <laughs> Yo, I'm a bully. I'm a bully in this game. Alright, here we go. How long has it been since I arrived here? Looking inside the forest, there was a familiar statue at the side of the path. Adol realized he had been this way already. How can I escape from this overgrown forest? Huh. Was that a hint that we're on the right path? Adol base defense increase. Nice. So it's actually pretty good to make detours and look for memories because they give you stat increase. For Adol at least. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. I love action RPGs, man. Like, I love having the ability to control what my character does. It's like an extension of who I am when I play these games. Instead of turn-based RPGs where everybody literally can use the same strategy and win, you know? Everybody can have a different playstyle. I mean, I'm sure there are turn, uh, there, there are turn-based RPGs where you can have a different playstyle than another person and still be able to overcome challenges and whatnot. But action RPGs are just way more funner, in my opinion. And I think that's the path J or Japanese RPGs are gonna take: action style, not turn-based. I'm sure there'll still be like traditional turn-based, but the majority of RPGs. Japanese RPGs are probably gonna go action based. As long as they're fun to play, I don't mind. Like Tails and like the East, the East series is pretty fun to play. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh man, he just stung me for like some good damage. Oh man, I gotta spam skills here. I was not ready. Mo over, he said. Dude, where's the good fruit? I found out you can actually feed fruit to like animal. What the? What level are they? Level 11, huh? We should be able to take these guys out. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna switch over to Durin so I can spam Swallow Kick. Here we go. Well, that's what you gotta do. Like, whenever you do like an extra attack, I think it's more effective to switch over to the next character because they won't be doing much. You just switch over to the next character and spam SP skills. Or if you need to gain SP, just charge attacks. Because literally when you do an extra skill, it freezes time. And then it gives you time to actually act and whatnot. Alright, I'm trying to be very cautious right here. So I don't get hit and lose HP. He's on very low health. Uh, there we go. Stunned him. So he takes more damage that way. So I guess what I'm going to have to do here, I'm actually going to have to use an item to heal him. I got a lot of bitter potions. I bought a few off camera. Once I went back and actually 
sold some of the uh, items I got. Oh, is this where we need to go? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Ooh. He broke his jaw, right? I broke his jaw, right? Oh, damn it. It's so hard to hit that second right after the counter with Durin. Uh, uh. Come on, get stunned already. There we go. I guess I found a rare item. When he says, whoa, this was a nice one. I guess I found a rare item. Oh. Uh, jawbreaker. Uh, this ain't, this Ed, Ed and Eddie, son. I'm passing out jawbreakers. <laughs> passing out jawbreakers for days. It is not a game. How do I get up there? Ed, Ed and Eddie. Ooh, look at this. Another item deposit. Let's get out of here. Adol has full health, but I don't want to mess with these guys. Looks like we can't go any further. Can we go over here? Yeah, we can. There's got to be an item over here or something. Oh, it's a broken bridge. All right, here we go. Let's go down here. Misty Peak. Interesting. I managed to follow the trail of some explorers up to this point, but I'm now completely lost. I have to make sure to keep telling them, since they're my only hope of getting out of here. <laughs> oh, man, he's got lost. Oh, man. Leave it to me. I can't examine the statue. I keep trying to examine the statue, but I keep talking to that prospector owl. I keep hiccuping too. Let's go up here. Damn. There's no map either, it looks like. There's no mini map. Let's go this way. Damn. Really? Oh no, man, it's the Lost Woods all over again. These Zelda type puzzles. Oh, look at this cutscene. I guess I went the right way. Hey, aren't those two. Hey, we met those guys in the other town. Listen, Pigeon. Who do you think you're talking to? Who? You, of course. There's no one else here. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I'm the genius explorer, Rabbit Long Gears. <laughs> Rabbit long ears. <laughs> You're far too young and naive to be finding fault in my master plan. Since when were you a genius explorer? What master plan? You're just going off of instinct. How many times have I have you been saved by that brilliant instinct? Don't you dare tell me you've forgotten about that. About as many times as got us into trouble, it's not far fewer. <laughs> Oh, dude, this pigeon is getting at this long ear person. We really need to try to find some kind of pattern here if we hope to ever get out alive. The path that leads further in must all have some common factor to them. If we can just figure out what it is. Well, maybe it was like, maybe it's like dead flowers. Uh, maybe something to do with flowers. Maybe that's the pattern. Look for the, look for the like the path with flowers next to it or something. You are super duper cheeky. You're an idiot. Idiot. <laughs> really? This is getting us nowhere. I guess they're explorers. They must be more skilled than they look to make it this far into the forest. But I get the feeling we should keep our distance. They don't seem like the type we want to get mixed up with. We got this, Doran. Let's talk to them. But like I said, we don't have the time to be sitting around thinking. Idiot. We've been going around in circles for ages now. Can we just stop and think about this for a minute? I'm sure there's got to be somewhere to work out the right path. I think that guy's thinking logically. See the flowers? There's flowers next to this path, so we go down here. 
There's no flowers. Oh, where did this guy come from? Get out of here, Flora. You wanna be Pokemon? Get your wanna be Pokemon out of here. So you wanna be a Pokemon, but you can't. Okay, let's see. Alright, I think this is the right way. Oh wow, I didn't even kill him because I was already passing the, sh the screen. Oh, look at this. I think we're on the right path anyway. Yep, flowers this way. Get over here! Nice. The excellent kills. Flowers are this way. So let's keep going this way. What the? Oh, dude. Oh, wait. We're the right way. Look at this. We actually came the right way. Surprisingly. And it is a monument, too. Let's inspect it. Oh, I can't inspect it with those flowers. I'm trying to kill him. Without going to the next zone. Sweet. Inspect. Nice. Look at this. It says Misty Peak exit. So we found the way out of here. Sweet. Good stuff. We got out of there on our first try. The presence of beasts can no longer be felt in the surrounding area. The air is still tranquil. Another memory it looks like. Or a camp. Looks like they're going to set up camp here, it looks like. Set up a tent. Let's do it. Super Gogeta is now online. Enveloped in the clear air of the forest and the fragrance of the spirit tree, Adolf felt his body drift into a deep, relaxing slumber. One of the memories sealed in the back of Adolf's mind was restored. It is said that the Spartas, which live in this land, came from the primeval lands. The Spartas are sacred beasts. There are some who say God resides in the primeval lands even now, but since no one can get there, no one really knows. Yo, a Dog Christian and Monkey D. Luffy would be like the best team up ever. Ever since Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, that would be the best team up. Looks like you remember something. What was it this time? I was talking to a young blonde man. I was riding a beast on the river. Let's say I was riding a beast. No, let's say I was talking to a young blonde man. I guess that means there really are people living in this forest. Sounds like it's somebody different from the voice you described at the mine too. Either way, it's pretty it's a it's a pretty encouraging sign. We should be getting to the river I marked on the map very soon now. Let's see what we find right. there. Let's keep moving. All right, sweet. Memory fragments in the surrounding area are now visible on the map. Sweet. I wonder if we can go up again and see if the mini-map appears in that place, the Misty Peak. But anyway, what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to save the game, take a short break, and once we come back, we will be back with more Ease, Memories of Selsetta. So I will see you guys very shortly.